G'day, it's Bill here from Optic Central. We're, uh, tonight we're out at the Dark Sky site. This is the Leon Moe Dark Sky site run by the Astronomical Society of Victoria. Um, it's a pretty good place as you can see. It's uh, got all sorts of things. We're, uh, as, as, and also you can tell, we're out up, um, I'm up on a pier tonight, so uh, uh, that's, uh, that's gonna make things nice. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is try to learn how to uh, polar line one of these scintoscopes without any electronic jiggery pokery, which is uh, what I do, so <laughs> it's gonna be a bit of a challenge for me. Um, they've got some new software, so we're going to be trying that out. So uh, anyway, let's. Uh, I'm going to keep on uh, keep on uh, setting up. Okay, counterweights are on now, so uh, let's just test it. Whee! Look at that. Nice and nice and balanced. Scopes. The uh, the, the mounts could be a little bit looser, but you know, tracks great. No, just lock that back up. Get on with it. Okay, we're back. It's much later at night. Stars are out. The moon is starting to rise. Uh, it's time to do a uh, do a, uh, a a well turn turn the mount on and do a polar alignment. Now, the way this uh, the, the way you do a polar alignment, if you don't have a polar scope, this one does. But if you don't have a polar scope and you've got the latest version of the Cinta software, is you. You set you, you set it all up. You roughly have it po pointed at sigma octans, which is behind me. Well, I found it in my, in my binoculars. Um, now we, we don't know whether we're one or two degrees off, but it's it's we know we're close. What we're going to do is we're going to turn on the mount. We're going to do a three star alignment, and then we we're going to do this thing called a polar a polar realignment, and that will tell us how far we are out. So. What we're going to do first is we'll turn on the scope, put all of the, the, the time, date, location and stuff, in, stuff like that in, and we'll do a three star alignment, and then I'll get back to you. Begin alignment, yes. Now we want to do a three star alignment. First star is Sirius. Sirius is right above us. So you're going to watch the scope fall over into itself. Let's go. These things are magic. Enter. Alpha Centauri. Hey, it's, it's visible. It wasn't visible before. Let's go. Canopus, let's go. Over there. And enter, let's see what it says. Alignment successful. Okay. Okay, we've done our we've done our three-star alignment. Uh, press enter and it tells me that the uh, the elevation error is 10 minutes and 16 seconds and the azimuth error is 21 minutes and 56 seconds. What we can do now is a polar realignment and that will enable us to use the, uh, the, these mechanical settings to change the elevator and, uh, elevation and the azimuth to get a better polar alignment. So what we'll do is we, do, we, we find the polar realignment um, menu item and we'll get into it. Okay, we've got the polar, the, the polar realignment, actually it's called the polar alignment thing, and it's right next to the, uh, the three star alignment, by the way. So enter that, and it says choose a star, and it says it's suggesting Sirius. Well, Sirius is right up there, so that's fairly convenient, so let's hit that, and it's going to go and find Sirius. Right, now, what it's going to do is it's, go it, it's going to get, get me to use the hand box buttons to center Sirius, our guide star, in the middle of the in the middle of the frame. Now, then it's going to move it slightly off um, by the amount it calculates, and it's going to ask me to only use the azimuth the azimuth adjustments here and here to get it back to as close as I can to the center of the, the of the field. Then it's going to ask me to do the same thing us using these azimuth bolts. So. We'll get into it. It tells me that the 
error in the elevation is 10 minutes and 16 seconds. So hit and enter. Now it moves it off, slowing a bit. You can see me, Ken. And still slowing, very slowly. It's moved it off the star again, and it's now asking me to adjust the altitude just with the altitude bolts. So I'll do that now. That will get the star back into the middle of the screen uh, the, of the field as much as I can make it. Right, that's pretty good. It's not in the very center of the, of, of the field, but it's as close as I can get to it. Oh, gonna need the glasses. Right, enter. Now it's gonna, it says the, it's telling me the elevation error is zero now, which is, that's, I'm pretty pleased with that. Now the altitude, the azimuth error is 21 minutes and 54 seconds. So let's hit and enter. It's gonna slow slightly off that. And then it's gonna ask me to only use the azimuth bolts to move it back. There you go, adjust the azimuth bolts, All right. Same deal. Okay, the handbox is telling me that it's estimating I'm three seconds out in elevation and bang on in azimuth. So let's do a new three star alignment and we'll see what the actual numbers are. Well, I'm now under 30 seconds and arc, uh, 30 arc seconds in both axes, so I don't reckon I need to go around again. I declare us polar aligned. Let's go and find something to look at.